Welcome back. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a uh, sensitive subject. It's about an addictive white powder that affects a lot of people. And yes, I'm talking about sugar. Um, it's true that a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, but there's also a ton of side effects or uh, negative reactions we can have when we have excessive sugar in our diet. So I want to talk about that today. And I speak from this as uh, with experience. Um, maybe even as a little bit of a hypocrite because I have a sweet tooth. That's my, that's my hard thing for me to deal with is sweets and things, desserts, things like that. So uh, I guess you could say I have an Achilles heel or more accurately an Achilles uh, taste bud, but um, I speak with experience. So anyway, just want to let you know, over the years, my family has hosted um, exchange students for, for quite a while, a lot of them from Asia. And when they would come and we would share like a family meal with them, we'd encourage them to try something new that they hadn't had. And a lot of times we'd get the reaction where they'd, they'd taste something and do a little face and say, oh, no thanks, too sweet, too sweet, and they'd kind of, no thank you. And it was interesting that uh, these were not desserts or, or necessarily sweet things, but we just have so much sugar in our, in our food that we make that they could pick up on this and it seemed really weird and sweet to them. Uh, since we moved to Africa, I've noticed the same thing. Americans are a lot heavier on their desserts and their sugar and their sweets than uh, most Africans here. So. Very interesting. We, in fact, most Americans eat about 150 pounds of sugar a year. That's a lot uh, to be going through. So the problem with when we have excess sugar is it, uh, what it does obviously is going to increase our calorie intake. So it's going to bump up our possibility to uh, gain weight and get be obese. So that's one. It can also uh, affect or lead to or, or worsen heart disease and type 2 diabetes and cause tooth decay. As you know, since you're a little kid, you're always told to brush your teeth and not eat a lot of sugar before you go to bed, things like that. So those are, are, are some serious things. But also one I've noticed, my, my personal issue I have the hardest time with, is I, I notice inflammation and water retention. So if I eat something that's high in sugar, I'll wake up in the morning and my hands are like, you know, like gloves. It's like they're super tight and full of water. And, and so inf inflammation is another side effect if you eat too much sugar. So we all know we should be eating less. I don't think sugar is totally evil and we should never have it. Um, I believe in moderation. but. Uh, the, the tricky part is just reducing it. And the challenge with that is knowing how much sugar is in things because you can read a label, but the, the part, the tricky thing with is, uh, sugar is there are so many aliases. It's not just gonna say sugar on there. So over the years, they've gotten really good at marketing sugar and changing the name and changing its appearance. So the most common one you'll see today is uh, high fructose corn syrup. And that's in almost anything. Just take anything off the shelf, look at it, and you'll, I'd be surprised if there isn't high fructose corn syrup to some extent in, in almost every product you see. But in addition to that, there's lots of names. Just gonna read a few of these. Um, fructose, sucrose, lactose, maltose, glucose solids, molasses, cane sugar, and at least probably 30 other that I've seen uh, variations of those words or different words meaning sugar. So it is tricky. So if sometimes people will say, well, sugar is just the third ingredient, there can't be that much. But then if number four, five, and six are also these other aliases, you're getting a lot of sugar in your food. So, um, Part of that, one reason, one way people try and get around this is they will go for sugar substitutes. In the 70s, I remember they came out with like saccharin, that was a big deal, but then it was kind of uh, questionable if it caused cancer, some people were kind of scared of it, so then they came up with, uh, um, since then, aspartame and sucralose. Um, some people try and get more, uh, I've looked for other ways of, of uh, sweetening things, so there's things now like xylitol, agave, um, what are the other ones, stevia, uh, and then some people will just use what, for more just like natural sources, they're gonna say, say uh, things like honey or organic uh, maple syrup or dates to cook with, things like that. So everyone has their favorite sweetener if they're trying to replace sugar. The interesting thing though, there's lots of controversy about that. Everyone's opinionated and some people think theirs is the best and the others are horrible and will kill you. So it's just interesting, that's something you wanna look into. But one thing we can all agree on is we, we need less refined sugar in our diet. We eat too much of that. So we know that if we can reduce our sugar intake, that'll improve our health over time. It'll, we'll have a healthier diet. We'll have less of those problems mentioned previously and also fewer calories. So those are some things that most, most of us could do with if we had less sugar in our diet. So I just want to encourage, encourage you to be aware of that. Uh, look for ways you can cut sugar. Two of the best ways you can do are by reducing your soda pop intake and also your fruit juice uh, intake, just I mean, smaller portions on that sort of thing because that's essentially the same thing as drinking soda pop if you have a big thing of orange juice. Uh, and so smaller portions or eliminate those sort of things if you can. Anyway, our goal is to be healthier and it's hard to do for having excess sugar because it can cause a lot of problems and uh, just doesn't have it us at our best. So 
just remember that. And also, I want to remind you, if you're enjoying these videos, please uh, subscribe uh, to these, because I'm going to keep making them, whether you do or not, so you don't want to miss out. We'll talk to you later.